Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a spring vase. Um, you will need a mason ball jar, some Mod Podge, some tissue paper in spring colors, a pair of scissors, I used ones with like the scalloped edge and um, a paintbrush for the Mod Podge. And you can also use a bowl to pour the Mod Podge in to make it easier. So you're going to start by taking the tissue paper. And you're going to want to cut um, each color piece of tissue paper into about one inch by one inch square strips. It doesn't have to be perfect. I just also picked these. Um, wavy scissors to give the tissue paper like a pretty edge to it. You don't even have to cut it if you don't want. You can just, you can rip the tissue paper into small pieces too. Just depends on what kind of look you're going for. So start your pile and then move on to the next color. So the pack of tissue paper that I had had pink, blue, and green in it. Um, I was trying to stick with like, you know, spring pastel colors. And again, you just keep cutting them up into little squares. I'd like to also share with you that this blog was in collaboration with Janelle from the Crowded Table Farmhouse who also made a macrame plant hanger and Kaylee from Homestead Over Heels who made a post on spring decor that you can use every year. I will leave links in the description box below so you can check out their blog posts as well. pile of all your tissue paper cut up and then I just went ahead and cut up a whole bunch more so we had enough so then you're going to take the Mod Podge I chose the matte finish for this project and I Pour it into a small bowl so it was easier to paint with the brush instead of having to keep leaving the paintbrush in the bottle. And you want to take the glass jar and start by painting a thin layer onto the glass and then stick the tissue paper on.
If you want to put the tissue paper on in a pattern, that's up to you, however you want to make it, or you can just do it totally random and put the tissue paper all over. Um, you just keep putting a thin layer of Mod Podge and adding the tissue paper and coating over the top of it to make sure it's sealed. So go ahead and do this to the rest of the jar. After you have all of the tissue paper put on, you're going to go over it with another thin layer of the Mod Podge to seal it. And like I said before, you just go ahead and do this to the whole entire jar. So um, what inspired me to make this craft was I was looking for a spring decor idea and when I was going through um, my girls stuff when I was cleaning up I had saw that they had made um, a smaller jar similar to this in um, art class so I thought it would be a cute idea if I made um, a larger size and um, purposed it into a vase for the spring Okay, so you can see that's what it looks like with the first coat of tissue paper and Mod Podge. And I went ahead and went around and did a second layer of the tissue paper and Mod Podge again around the whole jar. By doing that, it was just making sure all the area was coated with the different colored tissue paper and also it um, made all the different colors reflect through each other. And it made a pretty pattern.
and that's the second coat. So after I finish the second coat going all the way around, I also decided to do the bottom. That was Grace's idea. She wanted me to make sure I got the whole bottom covered. So she helped me um, do the bottom. Then after you let it sit and dry for some time, you can go ahead and you want to start, um, if you want, you can put the tissue paper around the rim of the glass. And just make sure you coat it well enough with the Mod Podge and keep sticking the tissue paper around the rim. Make sure you also seal the tissue paper that you stick on with a coat of Mod Podge over the top of it too. Okay, so now that the jar has completely dried, you can see the beautiful pattern of the tissue paper and the matte finish Mod Podge. I grabbed some twine because I wanted to make a bow for this vase. And then I'll show you how I made the bow. Just measuring it to make sure it had enough to double up the twine to go around. And then I just tied a simple bow. Um, you can also, if you want, another option would be with to just wrap the twine around the rim and like glue it down with a hot glue gun and then add a bow on it it's just like a little bit different look if you want but for this i just did a, a simple bow and the only thing 
that you have to do now, after this is completed, would be add some flowers. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial with me and learning how I made the spring vase with tissue paper and Mod Podge. And if you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up. And while you're here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much. And we'll see you for the next video. Thanks, guys.